Hi ladies, it's Karen. I told you earlier that I had gotten a couple of packages um, in the mail today and this one is from Karen Sue. She's Scrappy K. Sue on YouTube and she's a doll. Hi K. Sue. It's really sweet of you to send me a little package here. So, let's see what's in here. Ooh, yay. Little organza baggie filled with um little like beaded trim hold on can you hear that thunder it's thundering oh look at these these are nice isn't that sweet that's like a very faint pinkish peach I love this color. It's my favorite color these days. I think Kesu knew that. And that's a blue. Very sweet. Thank you, Kesu. Oh my gosh! Hold on. Oh, she was saying, I went, yay, thank you so much. Hold on. Um, she was telling me at her Michaels, um, and maybe at your Michaels too, you've got the six by six paper pads, the My Mind's Eye, and there's apparently there's Teresa Collins and stuff. I think, yeah, Teresa Collins. My Michaels doesn't have any of that. We are so far behind, it's not even funny. But um, we don't have any of that. And um, we don't even have a lot of the newer Recollections paper packs that are coming out. At any rate, um, K. Sue at the last, they had that sale where the paper was either 40 or 50 percent off, and then she had a coupon for an extra percentage off. So <clears throat> she had asked me if I had had these. It's the ter and I don't. Teresa Collins World Traveler. I love, love, love this one. I remember drooling over this one online. Look at whoops, hold on. I'm. It's not a new paper. It's new to me though, and the colors and everything of this, like this, is just perfect for me because it's like vintage. Look at that. Oh, I can make a vintage shabby type of mini album with this. So awesome. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Kesu. And then this one, it's the Ooh La La from My Mind's Eye, right? Yeah, my mind's eye. I can't believe you're finding this at your Michaels. It's crazy. I mean, that's awesome crazy. My Michaels doesn't have anything awesome crazy. Look at this one. I'm going to show you just real quick because I know it's an older stack, but I don't have it and I've never seen it. Ooh, I like that color. Oh my gosh. And look, double sided. Oh, thank you so much, Karen Sue. Oh, I so appreciate this. Oh, yay, and the blush. I didn't have this one either, and this is from the Lost and Found 2. I can't, I can't believe you all are finding the Lost and Found paper at Michael's. That is so awesome. Look at this. Oh, I love this paper. All right, I might have to do this one first. Thank you so much, Karen Sue. I really appreciate you thinking of me. Card. I love her cards. It says hello. This sweet little card. Look at her stamp. She's got it going on, I tell you. <laughs> she says she finally got a good deal on them. Oh. You know what, Kesu, if there's any way I can get to the um, Atlanta Expo, I really will. I would, I would go to the Atlanta Expo to meet up with you. I mean, 
for for us, I think that would be a six hour drive, maybe. But I mean, we would be in Atlanta and we'd make a weekend out of it. You know, I would have Joe come with me and he can, I don't know, find a lake and go fishing somewhere while I went to the expo. <laughs> but um, that that sounds like a great idea. It would be so. It would be like a dream to be able to get together with you, just like it was to to meet up with Lydia and Marcia, who I adore as well. So, thank you so much. And thank you so much for um, feeding my stash. I really appreciate it. You're such a sweetheart. I hope you're feeling better right now, and um, I, I look forward to you um, making the tag for the tag, tag challenge. I hope you feel up to it soon. So, I love you, girl. Thank you so much. And thank you, ladies, for watching. I appreciate it. Oh, a lot of you have been asking, um, had asked before in my other video to let you know how my class goes. Um, I had my first class last night, and it was the Spotted Canary at Michael's, you know, the Spotted Canary, like a basic scrapbooking class is what it is. And um, it's supposed to be a four-part class, so every Friday this month, right? So um, I didn't, you know, I was told I don't have to stick exactly to the... Um, like outline that Michael's um, supplies, you know, I mean, put my own thing into it. So I was really nervous and I, um, Becky helped me figure things out and I figured out how I was going to handle it and everything. And there were three people supposedly to be in the class. Well, so, and I packed everything like tools and this and that to go over tools and the sorting of your pictures, you know, start with the first things first basic basics for scrapbooking, you know. And um, anyway, um, the one lady um, called and canceled. That's fine because there was still a couple, a husband and wife, who took the class. Very sweet people, very sweet people. And um, I really enjoyed them. But here's the thing. They didn't really take the class to learn how to scrapbook. They took the class more as a way to, um, they had gobs and gobs of pictures of their puppy. You know, their cute little dog, um, who they spoiled to death, you know. And they had a bunch of pictures of their puppy that they wanted to put in an album, but they didn't want it to just put in an album, you know, they wanted to make it, you know, like a scrapbook. So that's why they took the class, so that they could do that one project. So because since it was just them in this class, like there weren't, any other students, um, you know, I went through some basic things with them and then I told them that, you know, since you came here with a specific project in mind and, you know, you're, you're not sure that you want to take scrapbooking as a hobby and take it further, you know, um, why don't we just set this as the goal of this four-week course, we'll get your album done and, you know, and I will teach you, you know, the basics about scrapbooking and stuff like that along the way. So, um, so that's what I turned the class into because that, that's what the situation was with, with, um, you know, the couple who took the class. So it wasn't, so it wasn't what I had prepared for and it wasn't what I had planned on. However, you know, it's kind of cool, you know, a couple came in with a specific project in mind, so um, I, I changed gears a little bit, and, I'll, and um, I'll prepare something else this week for next Friday that'll help them more. Um, and that's what the class will be this, this month for them, so I just wanted to let you know how it went. I had a good time, and these, these people were, you know, so pleasant. And everything so I just wanted I just wanted to let you know how it went it, it so it went well it just didn't just it just wasn't what I had prepared for you know so anyway I wanted to let you know um, and thanks again Karen so for um, thinking of me and um, feeding my stash <laughs> I really appreciate it I love you girl and I'll talk to you ladies soon bye bye now